Josh decided to dig in once again, but he found a way. Yeah, I think we've come a long way from last season, you know. I think last season we were just maybe crumbled under the pressure, but we kept going. The fans got behind us as well, you know, and we got a result. On a personal note, that second half, we forced to go up and down that right flank, some all half long, up against as a was a tough physical player himself. I mean, your persistence paid off in the end, though. Yeah, if you keep going, at some point you're going to get one through, you know what I mean? But Verdi and the Gaffer just give me a license to get forward. And, you know, I got forward in the end, I got a cross, and then we got a goal from it. It's now three assists for you in your last three games. Is that something you keep track of personally at all? Or is yeah. you know focused on helping the team and the team's results? I think football has changed a lot. You know, It's a more stats based now, so it's always good to get assists in. But as long as the team are playing well and getting results, that's what I'm happy with. Obviously, you've got Benny Reid behind you this season and he's pushing you the whole way. You guys have traded starts at the start of the year. How much does that keep you motivated and keep you working forward to, to earn that spot and make it right? Uh, I think it's always good to have competition. You know? it's, there's only one right back or left back or centre half in the club. You're not going to get pushed. So as long as you've got someone there who's pushing you all the way, all you can do is be your best. Short turnaround to Tuesday then and Weymouth. What are your anticipations for that game? I think same as every game. It's going to be a hard battle. You've just got to be better than them and get the result. Thank you, Josh. Cheers. No worries.